Hi, this is Roshin from Sweet Eve Science and today I'm going to show you how to assemble your spinning shaker cape topper. Make sure to watch my design tutorial first, the link is in the description. The materials you're going to need are cardstock, acetate, foam tape, foam stickers in different sizes, an acrylic stick, shaker mix, invisible thread, embellishments, glues, including hot glue, and finally a non-stick scissors. Link will be in the description box. So let's start with our text. Grab your first layer and apply to your second layer using glue. Use small dots. I use art glitter glue with a fine metal tip. Repeat this step if you have any loose sections, such as the dot of an eye. Now use foam stickers to apply the second layer to the third layer. Be sure to apply the foam stickers to each section of the word to make sure that you have equal levelling. Trim the foam stickers if required. I like to apply glue to reinforce, but this is an optional step. I like to use a quick stick to help me pick up small pieces of paper and embellishments. Be sure to tie to your cuts, removing any inner pieces which may not have come out. Now apply the first layer to the second layer using small dots of glue. Apply the second layer to the third layer using foam stickers. Again, I use glue to reinforce, but this is optional. Apply the backing of the baby using foam stickers. I use larger foam stickers for this and cut them to size. I also use hot glue which is optional.
and that's the text done. Next, let's do the banner. I like to glue the banner together using a silicone glue. This has more slippage and allows you to move the pieces into place. I like to use Beacons 3-in-1, but you can also use a normal glue for this as well. Now apply the backing of the banner using foam stickers. I used hot glue, but this is optional. And that's the banner done. Now let's move on to the stars. Apply the layers using glue. You want to make sure you have two stars, so that when they spin, you can see the same on each side. Now it's time to apply embellishments. I'm using pearls here but you can use anything that you want to. I'm just using my quick stick, it helps me to pick up these little pieces really easily. And that's the stars done. Now let's move on to the shaker frame. Grab the first and second layers and glue together again using small dots. Adjust and line up. Now we're going to apply the second layer to the third layer using foam stickers. Make sure when you're applying the foam stickers that they do not stick out, otherwise they will be visible. I'm going to use a glue again, but this is optional. Repeat the same process for the fourth layer. And that's your shaker frame done. Now let's do the main shaker. Be sure to clean your acetate using window cleaner and kitchen towel. This will prevent the acetate from becoming static. Now grab your foam tape. Roughly guess how much you will need, but cut a little bit more than probably required. Apply the foam tape to the edge of the acetate. When the two edges meet, trim, but be sure not to leave any gaps. Now it's time to add our shaker mix. I'm keeping it simple and just using one type, but you can use as many as you like. If you want to use beads, you will need to apply another layer of foam tape. Now remove the cover very slowly and carefully. 
but leave just a little section of the cover. Now it's time to apply your acetate. I messed this up guys, I didn't line it up very well, so I had to remove it and start all over again. But I'm here for showing you the real craft in life. The great thing about foam tape is, if you make a mistake, it's very easy to rectify. Now be sure to line up and apply your acetate. As we left this small pocket, we can now adjust our shaker. We can add or remove shaker mix. This is an optional step, but it just gives you flexibility if you're not happy with the amount of shaker mix. Now remove the last bit of cover that was left. Seal with your fingers. I also like to use a brayer, but this is an optional step. Now move it around and give it a good shake to make sure that nothing can escape. And trim any excess that you can see sticking out. See here I've got some little bits of acetate, I just want to clean it up slightly. Now grab your frame. What we need to do here is put the frame on top of the shaker to see if any of the foam tape is visible. You can see when I line it up some of the foam tape is sticking out of the side. So again, just go around and very carefully trim. Now stick the shaker to the frame. I would recommend silicone goo for this because you can move it around until you get it into the right position. Just make sure to allow it to dry thoroughly. You can also use hot glue if you feel more confident. And that's your shaker done. Now let's move on to the spinning star elements. So grab all of your stars. And you're just going to position the main shooting star and the two smaller stars roughly where you think they need to sit. So just imagine where your invisible thread will run through and try and line them up that way. I would suggest grabbing a pen and just mark where you think that you're going to put the invisible thread. Remember, you'll have two bits of invisible thread, one for the shooting star and one for the two smaller stars. Now grab your invisible thread. Make sure that you cut significantly more than you will need. This will just help you when you're trying to apply it to the backing. Use hot glue at the top and the bottom for your first line. I wouldn't suggest using silicone or any other type of glue because it will take way too long to dry. Now put down your thread and make sure that you hold it straight and let it dry. Now I'm going to test my star to make sure that it can spin easily. On this occasion, I felt that it was a little bit too close to the frame, so I just moved my invisible thread just slightly forward. Now this looks like it has enough space to spin. Now apply the star to the invisible thread using hot glue. Now flip over and on the other side apply the other matching star. At first I used the white glue but actually I think the silicone glue is best because it allows you to be able to move around the star and line them up. To be honest, this took me absolutely ages. I got myself a little bit confused. And it wasn't exactly perfect in the end, but it still looked fine. So try not to stress too much about it, guys. I could have cut this out, but I wanted to show you because you might have a similar problem to me. And that's your spinning shooting star. Now repeat the same process using the two smaller stars.
you may find that there's a slight overlap where the shooting star might hit the thread of the other smaller stars. That's absolutely fine. Trim off any excess. your smaller spinning stars done. Now grab your shaker. I'm going to apply the shaker to the backing using hot glue, but you can also use silicone glue, just make sure that you let it dry. Now grab your banner. And in the center of the banner, using foam stickers, apply it to the backing. I added hot glue as well, just to make sure it was secure, but this is an optional step. Now grab your surname and make sure that when you're lining it up, it's in line with the backing. Now glue into place. Now grab your baby text. As you know, when I designed this, the L of the Lewis is slightly overlapping with the A. Now you might not have this issue at all because you might be using a different text. But for me, this seemed like the sensible place to line these up and to glue together. I used hot glue but you can use any glue that you want. And you can see I had to make a few adjustments here to make sure everything was sat in the right place so that it was in line with the backing. I just tidied up a bit here because I could see some of the foam sticker that was visible. I decided to use some foam stickers to make sure that everything was even because the A and the, and the part of the L were slightly elevated. So you're just going to have to mess around with this until you get it completely right. You can also add the foam stickers before if that's easier. And that's the main part of your shaker done. Let's move on to the backing. Grab your stick and line it up. It won't be centered at all, but you can see where the Y is. That's what I would suggest putting it and making sure that when you're gluing it, you're not gluing onto any acetate, only to cardstock. I use hot glue because it dries much quicker, but you can use silicone glue. You'll just have to hold it until it dries. Now this is an optional step. If you want to cover your stick, apply foam stickers and then use hot glue to attach the final backing. And there you have it. That's your 3D spinning shaker cake topper. After I'd finished, I realized that there were some imperfections. So I just used a microfiber cloth to clean off any of the excess that was on the mirror card. If you find this helpful, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Watch all of my other tutorials and follow me on Insta and TikTok. Thank you so much guys and look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye.